Got another question for the AS analytical techniques topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So first thing we want to do is calculate the empirical formula from the percentage composition by mass data. So that's given me an empirical formula of C2H4O. So immediately I'm going to calculate the MR of that, which comes out at 44. So the next thing I need to do is go straight to the mass spectrum and find the molecular ion peak, which is the peak furthest to the right. So it's that one there. So we now know that the MR of this is 88. But the empirical formula mass was 44, so in other words, half as much. So the molecule must have twice as many atoms in as the empirical formula. So therefore the molecular formula must be C4H8O2. Going back to the mass spectrum now, I'm dealing with this information about the carbocation, secondary carbocation responsible for the peak with the greatest relative intensity. So obviously this peak here. So it's got an M over Z value of 43 and it's a secondary carbocation. So there's one hydrogen bonded to the carbon plus obviously two carbon groups, one either side. And the only way you can get an MR of 43 for that is if you have methyl groups on each side there. So that is what's responsible for this peak here. So there's that written up there. So if we've got the infrared spectrum now, there's two key zones I always look at first. So around about the 3000 mark, we've got an obvious OH absorption here and it's in just the right range for a carboxylic acid OH. And the other region I look at is a 1700 CM to minus one, obvious absorption there, and that's due to C double bond O. So we've got a carboxylic acid. So in words, from the infrared, the broad absorption between that range indicates the presence of an acid OH, and the absorption at 1700 centimeters to minus one indicates the presence of a C double bond O. Therefore, C must be a carboxylic acid. So all we need to do now is look at the atoms we know about. So we know that we've got this secondary carbocation. The molecular formula is that. We know that it's a carboxylic acid. Well, the only thing left to do is to put COH on this carbon. So there's the structure there. 